Okay, and we're back. And I'm just taking the front cover off because um, I should really test that intensity pot um, properly. As some people pointed out on the forum. So, um, I'm trying to take the front cover off, and lo and behold, yeah, some of the screws are foobard. Well, the standoffs are foobard. Fantastic. So, if they're all like that, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this back on. Well, unless I play a uh, 3D jigsaw puzzle with all the standoffs. Anyway, I'm going to crack the front off and see if I can get the IF board off, which has the um, intensity pot glued to it. Okay, so that's it. That is, I had to take the front off to get the old um, spindle out, but yeah, this. Uh, Self-tapping uh, screw seems to have done the trick, so yeah, job done. <laughs> right, so as you can see where the cracked standoffs were, I've just screwed it straight in. It's just a hole. As you can see, all the insides are just sort of like enough to stand it off, especially here. This is sort of like stood off just the right amount, so all this does is just pull it down too a bit so it doesn't flap in the breeze. Um, but yeah, right, well, powered on. Just the intensity, everything else is set halfway. I know these don't look like they're set halfway it's because I uh, screwed them on and you put the caps on and then they're not in the right position, you left them in. So it doesn't matter because you can still adjust them, it's just you just right there's a stop, there's a stop, so halfway's about there. So you just roughly set them halfway. Okay, just wanted to make sure then the uh, intensity pot was actually working and it wasn't just like stuck in a single position. I don't know could have been firing it on so there's 23 so that's wound to one end or minus 23 24 volts round up the other way minus 47 volts so I had it about there so that is working 